guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Megan. This is Ethereal Warp Art. Um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I've been playing around with these um, string poles, dancing string poles, I call them, um, where I paint the canvas and then I put a layer of Floetrol down and do a string pole through the Floetrol um, instead of like the wet paint so that um, I don't disturb the paint underneath and I kind of, I can brush on a background rather than pour. Um, it's been making these interesting kind of creases, if you can see it. It's not really crazing or cracking, it's, it's kind of um, wrinkling. And this one had two layers of, it had a pour and then a background paint on it, so um, it had several layers, so that there was an area that really got raised. I did try it with um, Liquitex pouring medium, and so I wouldn't get these wrinkles. But it didn't give me these interesting um, kind of crackle effect, if you want to call it. It's not like crackle to the feel, but it, the paint like separates in a really interesting way through the Floetrol. And it did not do that at all in the pouring medium. So um, I'm still kind of playing around with the Floetrol. This is a canvas panel that only has one layer of paint on it. So I'm hoping I get just little bits of that um, wrinkling effect. I don't mind that. And as long as it's consistent, I can work with it and I know what to expect. So I can kind of, you know, add, have that be part of, you know, the painting and the overall look of the painting. So I have some Floetrol mixed with just a teeny, 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 tiny bit of water. Um, I added more than that. I, added, I made it a little bit more runny so that I, or fluid, so that I could tilt it instead of like spread it. And I found that I got more of those, um... Before I do that, I got more of those like wrinkles than if I added just a tiny bit of water. So I have this background that I painted um, a while back. It's been a few weeks actually. Hope that's not glaring. I guess it's not, is it? No. Okay. And I have this um, light blue violet, and I think that wait, I have this written down. Our this is Arteza um, Phalo blue with some silicone. Both have Floetrol. Water and silicone. I don't have very much of either one, but for a string pull, that's fine. They're just leftovers. And then I have this Perfetto. This is glitter bead gel. You can see that? Now, I have not mixed this with anything. So that may be a mistake because it's pretty thick. But um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see how it goes without mixing it. This is kind of trial and error. These canvas panels are really inexpensive, so... They're perfect for um, playing around with. And I'm going to, I don't think I'll have any trouble with it warping at all since I'm putting a pour over um, a layer of paint because it's not like going to seep in like it would um, without a layer of paint, I'm assuming. Make sure it's in camera. Okay, so I've got my works. So I'm going to cut out some, cut off some yarn pieces to do the string pull. And my plan for this, now with Floetrol, you really, it's very milky, so once you pour it on your background, you can't really see your background anymore. So if there's something very specific you want to do, or an area that you want to make sure you're pouring over, or you're doing a string pull over, you sort of need to have that mapped out ahead of time. If you don't have a plan ahead of time, no big deal. So I think I'm, I want to put the um, glitter bead gel where it's a little bit lighter, this lighter section. So I'm going to do my string pull like right in here, and then put fill in that area with the bead gel. That is my plan. So here's, oops, there's a dog hair. Look at that. Right in the middle there. Did I get it? No, I did not. Okay, we'll come across that later, hopefully. <clears throat> At least it's a dark background. Because <laughs> it's certainly not um, coming out if it dry. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see it. All right, so I'm just going to kind of tilt this. You don't have to watch this part. Okay, so I've got it covered. It's not quite as, as solid right there, but that's okay because I have found that with Floetrol, it, it um, dries very well. It dries um, level, even if you have some areas where it's, you know, not, it doesn't look quite level. So, one other reason to love Floetrol. Make sure that's covered, though. Okay, so this is my lighter area, so I'm going to do it somewhere right in here. Oops, I did forget to clean. Well, no, I didn't have any silicone in this because it was just a regular painting with a paintbrush. 
Looked like I had some pinning. Maybe not. Okay. So, string pull. Okay. Do, 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 do focus. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a bit hoarse today. I'm not sure why. Um, I was up late last night. I suppose that's why. I got to see one of my favorite people in the entire world. I have a friend I haven't seen in probably, I don't know, 16 years. And the last time I saw him was probably not quite that long ago, but it was at the funeral of his sister. So very sad circumstances. Um, and obviously not the place to catch up. But I got, he was in town, well close, he was about an hour away visiting his other sister and I got to go see him and it was, oh my goodness, you know, it was just wonderful. Okay, so I've, I'm sorry, I've got off track. But anyway, so I dipped this in this color and then I scraped a little bit off. And now I'm going to do a dancing string pull is what I call it from right here. But anyway, I was super, super excited and it was totally worth being up late to get to go see him. Now this does have silicone in it, so it's, and I'm putting it right back in the paint, so you see it's going to kind of create some cells, and then it does this. I did not have very much on there. I'm going to try and go a little heavier in the dark blue because there's not enough paint to really do anything kind of fun. Let's try and get a little bit more paint on here. I know I don't have much of either color left, so I'm not going to get a ton of paint. But anyway, I think my hoarseness is from being up late last night, driving home late, not getting enough sleep. But totally worth it to see an old friend. We had so much fun. And now we live about 17 hours apart, so... Makes it awfully hard. Okay, I'm going to go on this side of this color, I think. Okay, yeah, that's a bit better, coating on that string. Ooh, yeah, see this is what I love about dragging a string through um, Floetrol that you don't get with pouring medium is this kind of crackling that the paint does. I was really kind of bummed that I didn't do that with the Floetrol. Uh, or, sorry, with the pouring medium, Liquitex pouring medium. It did not do that at all. It just kind of sat there and did nothing interesting. So the nice thing about the pouring medium, though, is it does not do anything to the first layer, so you don't have that crazing. Okay, sorry, I'm off camera doing these, um, loading up my strings for the string poles. So I'm going to go through this blue, I think, and go up here, actually. And that's kind of cool. Okay, so do I want to do one more of the dark blue? Actually, I think I'm going to do another one of this lilac. Lilac. This um, this is basic. The lighter color is basics. Light blue violet is what it's called. It's a really pretty color. Okay, I'm gonna load it up, and I'm gonna kind of go. There we go. Right in here. Get some good coverage of that color. Okay. I think that's probably it, and I'm going to do the blue one more time. I'm getting a lot more detail with the blue. Well, there, no, I take that back right in here. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll do close-ups when I'm done. Right in here, it's doing that crazing. And it may right in here. It, it does take a bit, I've noticed. It doesn't um, crackle, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just dipping my string in the dark blue again. I'm not taking much off. Now, if these cups were full, I would definitely be taking some um, off of here. I'm going to just follow my first one with this. Okay. Oh, that's really pretty. I really like that. Okay. Let's do just a hair, but I'm not even going to dance it. I'm just going to drag it right in here. There we go. Okay. I like that. Okay, so I'm done with the string poles. Now I'm going to get, um, I think, a clean popsicle stick. It's going to be my best bet. I'm going to have to reach. Ooh. Okay. So this, um, I've done the string poles plenty of times. Oh, see how pretty that's looking? Oh, love that. 
Okay, um, but I have not done anything with this pearl. Well, I've done a little bit with this, but I, I thinned it out the first time I used it, which may be the way to do it. Yeah, because it's going to clump. Okay. I'm going to pause and I'm going to mix some of this up. Okay, so I just mixed it with some Floetol and just like three drops of water so that I can pour it on and spread it. It's, you know, the point is still to be a little bit chunky because it's chunky bead gel. So, you know, I wasn't trying for totally smooth, but that was just not going to work at all. I'm going to try and go up to that blue, bluish purple periwinkle, if you want to be specific. And just do it down here. There we go. Now this, I don't know because I'm putting another layer on if this is going to pull away. A wrinkle that paint more or what we'll see when it dries as it dries how it does and I think I was thinking about doing right here but I think yeah you know what let's do this area too and be very careful not to mess up my paint around it whoops ah what happens when you're not paying attention that's right we'll get a little glitter there I wasn't on camera, I would move this around, but if I do that, I have to rearrange everything, so I'm just going to leave it as is and be more careful. I think this is going to be kind of cool. These sort of dancing string poles on, on a layer of the clear Floetrol over a painted background just really opening up some really neat um, alternatives and options, not really alternatives, but you know what I mean. Um, kind of neat new ways to use the fluid paint and such. Just a tiny bit here. More than I wanted, but that's okay. Okay, let's put a little bit here. I'm going to wondering, you know what I'm gonna do? My phone shot off. I don't want that to look like an accident, which it was, but I don't, I don't want it to look like it. And since this paint, this there's like sparkles in the flow trial that I'm when I mix the bead gel. Um, I'm going to do a string pull. I'm just mixing it. I'm just dipping it in the um, bead gel flow trawl. So I'm not going to get any of the beads, I don't think. Um, I don't really want any of the beads. I just want the glitter. I'm, I'm going to do one pull on the top. We'll see how well it shows up. But just straight across like that just so it doesn't make that glitter look like a total accident. And that actually might look kind of cool. Okay, so that is it. It will take a couple of days to dry. So um, let me do close-ups. Um, it'll take a couple of days to dry. So I will be back. Of course, it you know be instant for you guys watching the video. But I have to wait a couple of days to see how this is going to look. See, isn't that really cool what that does in the flow trawl? Really bummed that it didn't do that in the pouring medium. Um, I don't know if you can see, probably not, where I did the glitter string pull. Um, but anyway, so I will be back to show you what it looks like dry. Okay, so it is dry. I kind of like it this way. Um, better than this way, but for camera 
conveniency sake. <laughs> we'll show it this way. Um, so anyway, it dried really neat. I like this, um, oops, the way this turned out. It's a little more clumpy than I was hoping, but um, I think by the time uh, maybe some resin was added, it would look really neat. And up here where I added that one line, um, it's kind of cool. Just a little bit of glitter there. It would really show up with some varnish um, or resin. Now I did have some trouble with it warping. As you can see here, um, this pulled away, which kind of surprised me because this, this painting I did the exact same way and um, I didn't have, you can see right there, I didn't have any trouble with that one warping and it was the exact same technique. Um, I had a layer of um, painted on paint, like just regular paint, and then um, flow trial with string pole. Um, same canvas panel, same brand. Um, this one, I think the flow trial is a little bit thicker, so maybe that was the issue. I don't know. Um, it wouldn't be a big deal because I was able to straighten it out as it dried. For the most part, I just came in um, every little bit, and with my hands, I kind of I obviously didn't do that, but I don't have two hands. Um, just bent it back so that it would um, unbend, but because of this, um, I don't know, it'd be really hard to save this one. But other than that, it turned out really well, so I think just a little bit thinner flow trawl. Um, I think I need a thinner flow trawl on canvas panel than I do on canvas because it doesn't um, seem to pull up and do that wrinkling effect on canvas panel like it does on um, a regular canvas, so it can be thinner. I mean, it's just, it's strange that it reacts differently on each surface, but there you have it. So, um, thinner on canvas panel, a little thicker on canvas, it seems to work better. But still, I think it dried really neat. Like I said, I like it, I like it, um, this way, but either way, it looks kind of neat. I do have a line there, but that's my fault. I put something down on it while it was not quite dry. So let me know what you think. And stop by the comment section, say hello. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't for future videos. Hit that little bell for notifications. And in the description bar, I will have um, links to my Facebook group, my Facebook page, and um, my Etsy. Or my Etsy.